Julie everyone, so in this video I'm going to demonstrate the sun salutation in its most traditional form and we'll just do this once on both sides um, really slowly and I want you to pay attention to the minute cues on the body just to make sure that you get the form correct and then in the next video we will do the practice in a more um, quicker pace and in this video we just really want to pay attention on learning all these new movements if they are new to you just keep an open mind relax and enjoy first i want you to come up to a stand so stand to the front of the mat bring your big toes touching together hands by your side palms facing forward keep your chin tucked in a little bit tailbone tucking slightly internal rotation of the thighs arms by the sides gaze forward you can fold your palms together and visualize the sun in front of you or any higher being depending on your religion or you can just have this practice as a dedication towards the universe and yourself traditionally we do this prostrating towards the sun now you can release your hands by your side palms facing forward inhale lift your arms up exhale forward fold lengthening the spine as you come down so notice if your hamstrings are really tight i don't want you to round your back like this rather bend your knees and come down hinging from the hip joint good so of course if you're flexible enough straighten the legs fold down from here bend the knees regardless of where you are step the right leg to the back as far as you can go drop it down now your legs are hip width apart here i want you to pull your left hip to the back right buttocks forward and bring your right knee down good so now when you pull your right your left hip to the back and your right buttocks forward you're squaring off the pelvis hands on the same line as the left foot push the weight of your buttocks forward evenly on both sides and you can look forward or up without crunching the neck you want to lengthen this part while you gaze up okay take a deep inhale in exhale step the left to meet the right so here you can have your big toes touching together such as in shivananda yoga style or you can have the feet hip width apart hands are shoulder width apart palms flat on the ground open your fingers wide and if you have tight hamstrings again you can bend the knees and push to the back try to lengthen the spine and if you're flexible you can have your heels down knees straight inhale forward to plank bring the weight forward shoulders above your wrists if you find this hard quickly bring your knees down if not stay here for a second deep inhale in exhale bring the knees chest and forehead down for beginners make sure that you don't when you come down you're not bringing the elbows to the side you want to tuck it in once you notice your elbows go into the side tuck it in and bring it down easier version it's actually safer just to bring your forehead down to the ground first okay once your chest is open then you can have your chin down and the chest down too good from here flatten your feet slide forward hands beside your chest here we can take an easy cobra it's not that easy to because you need some tricep muscular strength to do this but you don't want to crunch your neck you're going to bring it down push it up to your own limit elbows in gaze forward exhale tuck your toes lift from your belly to the back lift your buttocks up downward facing dog good inhale bring your right leg forward as 
far as you can go, step your right foot between your palms. For beginners, I know it's hard for you to step it right between the palms. You might be here, don't worry, walk your right foot forward slowly, take your time. And once you're here, again, same, um, same cues on the other side, bring the right hip to the back, left buttocks forward, squaring off the hip, then bring the left knee down. Okay, once you're here and it's squared, then push the pelvis forward and down, gaze forward and up. Exhale, step the left leg to meet the right. You can have the big toes touching again or hip width apart. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lifting the arms up. Gentle backward bend. Exhale, release to your side. We do this one more round on the left side. Just as a demonstration, this time I'm gonna repeat it facing forward. You don't have to do this, just stay where you are. Just for the visual clarity. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Bend the knees. This time lift the left leg, stepping to the back. Drop it and bring your left knee down. Pull your right hip back, left buttocks forward, squaring off the pelvis and push the pelvis forward as you gaze up. Exhale, lift the left knee, step the right foot to the back, hip width apart or big toes touching up to you. Okay, fingers wide, push down into the knuckles, palms flat on the floor, downward facing dog. Inhale forward to plank, exhale knees, chest and forehead, or the chin on the floor. I recommend beginners to have the forehead down as before. Flatten the feet, inhale, slide forward and up. So you can stay here or engage the core and come up gently. Upward dog, pelvis down. Exhale, lift from the pelvis up and back. Downward facing dog. Good, inhale. Bring the left leg forward. Step the left foot between the palms. Again, if you're here, walk your left foot forward until it's between the palms. Pull the left hip to the back, right knee down, right buttocks forward, both pelvis in one line, both buttocks in one line. Push your pelvis forward, gaze forward and up. Exhale, step the right leg to meet the left. You can have the same hip width apart or big toes touching, forward fold. Inhale, lift the arms up, gentle backward bend. Exhale, release the arms to the side, palms facing forward. Close your eyes here for a moment, feel the energetic effect of the practice. Fold your palms together, closing off the practice with gratitude. If this is your first time doing, you can repeat or you can also, if you're tired, you can take a quick shavasana. We always do this after a yoga asana practice to reset the body and learn how to relax the body, breath and mind all together by letting go. You may use your mind to relax each muscle parts of the body one at a time, up and down. A few deep breath in and out from the belly.
letting go of everything. This is the moment to be with yourself. And perhaps not even yourself. Letting go of the idea of the self. Just observe. On your next inhalation, move your fingers and toes. Bend your knees. Sway them from side to side. Hug your knees into your chest. Rock up to a seat. You can sit here for a moment with your eyes closed. Either sit in meditation or we can close off the practice, bring your palms together, chin down, spine is straight. Sense of gratitude for yourself for being present on the mat and sharing the merits or positive energy with all sentient beings. Thank you for practicing with me today. If you enjoy this practice, feel free to check out more of the longer yoga videos on my YouTube channel. And in the next video, in this series, I'm gonna have a longer practice, a longer sun salutation practice. So once you get used with all the cues in this introduction or demonstration, then we will do the practice maybe six times on each side. And that would be a really great exercise for you to keep your whole body moving and, and healthy throughout the day. So I hope this helps and Julie, namaste.